I'm going to explain about uh, a value, mean value, and variance for continuous random variable. We know that uh, the mean equal is an averaging process or else first average or else m or else one more name is expectation e of x denoted with e of x is equal is equal mean is equal for continuous random variable minus infinite to plus infinite x multiplied with f of x dx so this is an uh, mean for continuous random variable so if it is not satisfied uh, the sum of the companies will go for variance that is named as second mean denoted with sigma x square that is equal variance variance is defined as for continuous random variable minus infinite to plus infinite x minus m whole square f of x dx so after expansion so this will gives already we proved that e of x square minus e of x whole square so this is the variance and uh, to find k value uh, you will go with uh, total density function equal to 1 so the same thing uh, here they are explained we will go with one example here you can see this so a given random variable uh, find it's not it is fine find k value mean and variance if the density function f of x is equal k into 1 minus x square for the limits 0 to 1 so solution so first point to find k we know that to find k we know that total density function is equal to 1 so that is total density total density is always is equal to 1 so can be written as minus infinite to plus infinite f of x dx is equal 1 this is the density function limits already given that you will substitute uh, that is equal limits are from 0 to 1 f of x means k into 1 minus x square k into 1 minus x square dx is equal to 1 so k is a constant k outside and one integration is x of 0 to 1 and k is common for all anyhow then k into uh, that is x square integration with respect to x x cube by 3 x cube by 3 of 0 to 1 is equal 1 so substitute uh, upper limit 1 minus 0 1 so k into 1 equal to k minus 1 by 3 minus 0 by something equal to 0 is equal 1 so therefore k is equal take this side 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 this side that is 1 plus 1 by 3 so therefore k equal 3 plus 1 4 by 3 4 by 3 so this is uh, the way to calculate the k value i am using total density function always is equal to 1 so therefore that is k into 1 that is uh, 1 integration is x 0 to 1 1 minus 0 1 that is k here x square integration is x cube by 3 that is 1 by 3 if you substitute upper limit 1 by 3 minus 0 so therefore k minus 1 by 3 is equal to 1 so if you take this side that is k value is 4 by 3 second point we need to find mean value mean can be defined as or else it is also named as an average uh, is equal denoted with expectation e of x or m is equal minus infinite to plus infinite e x multiplied with continuous random variable density function f of x dx 
So this is the first mean and uh, what are the limits given? One, 0 to 1 it has given 0 to 1 x multiplied with f of x value is f of x already is given f of x value k into 1 minus x square k into 1 minus x square dx. So then k outside anyhow that is uh, k means anyhow we know that k just now we found k value 4 by 3. So k value we are already calculated that is 4 by 3. So therefore uh, k outside x is there 1 into x x x integration is x square by 2 of the limits are from 0 to 1. Then x into x square x cube x cube integration is x power 4 by 4 of the limits are from 0 to 1. So k is common for both so we can write it like this but we know that k value that is 4 by 3 anyhow so then 1 square upper limit is 1 square by 2 1 by 2 minus 0 by something is equal to 0 this is the first next x power 4 means 1 by 4 1, 1 power 4 means 1 minus 0 minus 0 so now this can be written as 4 by 3 uh, 1 by 2 minus of 1 by 4 so therefore can be written as 4 by 3 multiple 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 that is equal 1 by 4 4 4 cancel so therefore this is equal 1 by 3 so this is an e of x like this we can calculate the main value x into f of x dx for continuous random variable coming to the third point that is variance we need to find for this variance can be defined as variance is equal sigma x square is equal x minus m integral of minus infinite plus infinite x minus m whole square f of x dx this is original formula but after expansion we got it that is uh, already we are discussed e of x square minus a minus b whole square expansion after that you will get it result e of x whole square already we are discussed this so therefore e of x means x into f of x dx but e of x square means x square multiplied with f of x dx minus e of x just now we are calculated variance uh, sorry uh, mean that is k equal 4 by 3 this is this is the mean value 1 by 3 1 by 3 whole square 1 by 3 whole square completed so therefore here the limits already given that uh, what are the limits 0 to 1 limits are from 0 to 1 and uh, x square f of x value is that is f of x k into 1 minus x square k multiplied with 1 minus x square minus 1 by 3 whole square means 1 by 9 of course now k value we know that that is uh, k value is 4 by 3 so take it outside k that is 4 by 3 of 1 into x square x square x square integration is x cube by 3 of 0 to 1 minus x square into x square x power 4 x power 4 integration is x power 5 by 5 of 0 to 1 so the k value is common anyhow 4 by 3 so that is equal 4 by 3 minus 1 cube by 3 means 1 by 3 minus 0 1 by 3 power limit is 0 anyhow x power 5 1 by 5 minus 0 power 4 means 0 so this is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 so that is equal 4 by 3 in multiplied with Celsius is 15 5 minus 1 time that is 1 so therefore that is equal 4 by 3 multiplied with 5 minus 1 4 by 15 So 5 minus, this is 3, I think this is 3. 5 minus 3 means 2 by 2 by 15. 
2 by 15. So like this is an uh, sigma x square or else named as variance or else second mean like that. So thank you.